Alrighty, hello there my fellow chickens. Rach here from Baby Chicken Studios and today me and Baby Chicken are back with the October VHS update. How are you doing today Baby Chicken? Are you good? Whack! Oh that's good. As you can see we've got quite a lot to show you today. Me and my twin brother have been very busy getting stuff on eBay. So there's lots of awesome goodies to show you today. We've got some movies. There's a nice building site one there. He has a few movies there. And three Robson and Jerome VHS tapes. They only arrived over there, actually. We've got a BBC one. We have a Friends one. And we have a couple of kids ones as well. So very exciting stuff. So without further ado, me and Baby Chicken are going to get right into this VHS update. Are you very excited, Baby Chicken? Whack! Oh, that's good. Which one should we show them first? Whack! Good idea, Baby Chicken. That's one of my favourite movies, actually. Let's do that one. I'm going to move these out of the way without knocking them over. <laughs> Because I've got so many. <laughs> Move them there. Whoops. And baby chicken's falling over again. Oh, baby chicken. She's not had any coffee yet, so that's probably why. <laughs> there we are. So, this is the first one. It's one of my absolute favourite movies. Starring Michael Keaton. We have Beetlejuice. It's a really, really good movie. I absolutely love Beetlejuice. So there he is there in his stripy suit. And there's Barbara and Adam. Released by Warner Brothers. So there's the front. And the spine. Ooh, I don't know why it's not focusing today. Oh well. There's Beetlejuice on there. Warner Home Video. And the back. There's Adam and Barbara there. And Beetlejuice. And there they are again. Uh, released. I think this is 19. Yeah, 1988. I think. Or it could have been released in 89. Not too sure. Oh well. But this is the big box one, so I think this is part of a video shop. Who remembers those? <laughs> Nothing on the inside, but it does have a Warner Brothers embossed case, which is nice. And the tape itself is grey, which is pretty cool. Some writing on there. So yeah, this must have been part of a video shop. No idea where it says though. Just some numbers, I think. Oh well, yeah, it's got that on there. Yeah, that's proof it's not pirated. <laughs> A lot of the home, Warner Home Video stuff was grey back then, I think, which is pretty cool. Tape's a bit jumpy at the beginning, but it plays fine otherwise, so that's good. If any of you have seen the second Beetlejuice film, what do you make of it? I've yet to see it. I hope to get a DVD when it comes out. That's a really awesome film. Talking of Michael Keaton, here he is in another movie. We have Batman Returns. I'm Batman. <laughs> so there he is there. With Catwoman played by Michelle Pfeiffer and the Penguin played by Danny DeVito. He is awesome in that film. I absolutely love love this film. It's very, very dark but really cool at the same time. So there's the front, very dark. Released by Warner Brothers again. And the spine. Now I've got a window behind me, sorry about that. <laughs> there they are there. And the back. So we have Bruce Wayne with Selena, who's Catwoman. Look at a cat woman, there she is with Batman, little rascal. <laughs> and there's what well, looks like Gotham Sissy. It's cool. And uh, this is the 1995 release. I believe they had other editions. I think I seem to remember my late dad having a copy of the 1992 one because it had different pictures on the back. I remember that picture on it, and there was a picture of the penguin on it. But yeah, oops, box is really stiff. There we are. Nothing on the inside. There's the tape itself. The print, uh, I don't know if you can see that. There we are. It's the, it looks like the 12th of February, 1995, but actually it's the 2nd of December, 1995. So we'll make a really cool Christmas present for someone. I'm talking to Beetlejuice, I'm actually wearing a Beetlejuice jumper today, which is pretty cool. Let's show him another movie, shall we, Baby Chicken? Oh, good. She's a bit croaky because she's not had a morning, um, afternoon coffee yet, but we'll get you some in a minute, baby chicken, okay? Whack! Good girl. Next movie, we have Patrick Swayze this time with Roadhouse. There he is there. Have a close-up. <laughs> he plays a guy called Dalton in this film, which is cool. So there's the front. Move baby chicken up a bit. Oh! Sorry, that's me trying to sit up on the bed. It's now I've got a window reflected behind me. <laughs> There's the spine. Released by MGM this time. Oh yeah, if you heard a crack, that was my knee. 
Sorry about that. There's the back, all sorts of things going on there. Ooh, explosion there. Uh, released, I think it's 1995, I think. I believe so, anyway. Really good, really good film, this. Oops. So now I'm doing this one handed. <laughs> ah, there we are. I'll show you the tape in a minute. Whoops. What have we got in here? John Wayne, my late dad used to like John Wayne. He had some of his DVDs. Jean Claude Van Damme, another awesome actor, alongside Clint Eastwood. Oop, there we are. Lethal Weapon. I'm sure my older brother's seen that. Mad Max with Mel Gibson. Whoops. Roadhouse is what we're looking at now. Another awesome guy, Steven Seagal. Clint Eastwood again. The Good, the Bad and the Ugly. The Green Berries. And the Pink Panther. We have a Pink Panther film. It's not that one. No, it's Pink Panther Strikes Again. And there's the tape. For the print. The 15th of March, 1997. Another good movie. Next, let's show you the BBC one. We've got a really cool BBC one here. We have Camberwick Green with Mickey Murphy the Baker. There's all sorts of cool things going on there. There's a nice little dog on there as well. So there's the front and the spine released by the BBC. Got the back, narrated by Brian Kant, who did the, I think it was the Working Wheel series, which I showed in the um, previous update. So we have three episodes. Mickey Murphy, the baker, Mr. Caraway, the fishmonger, and Mrs. Honeyman and her baby. And she was a little rascal in that one. <laughs> Released in 1989. Also available, you got Chigley and Trumpton. We've actually got the Trumpton VHS. It's over there. Yeah, my twin brother had to get yet another box because we've, we've got so many tapes now. <laughs> it's building up quite a collection, he is. No BBC advert inside, unfortunately. But that's the tape. There is no print date down there, but there is one at the beginning. It's the 5th of September, 1989. So that's pretty cool. We used to own a copy of this tape, but I think it either got really mouldy or it was really jumpy. I can't remember. But we've got this one now, so that's good. Going baby chicken. There you go. Next, let's show you another couple of movies. These ones I only turned up the other day, actually. We have Bill Murray with Groundhog Day. There he is there. Have a close-up. <laughs> and her face. That's Andy McDowell, who you've seen a lot in a lot of the beauty ads. I think it's it's either L'Oreal or pardon, I can't I can't remember. <laughs> There he is there. He's having the day of his life over and over again. I don't know about you, fellow chickens, but that's exactly how lockdown felt. <laughs> so there's the front and the spine, released by Columbia TriStar and Cinema Club. Which is cool. And the back, what have we got going on here? There's the groundhog. There's Bill Murray, who plays Phil in the movie, with Andy McDowell. She plays Rita. Oh, okay, there. There they are, I think, playing a card game. I haven't watched this movie for a while. So it'll be good to watch this again. Oh, there's VCI in there as well. Uh, 1993, I think this is released. Oh, by the way, I've done the openings and closings to most of these tapes. I haven't done it for this one, Rat Race, or the Ain't Misbehaving one, yet. I need to go, go and do those in a bit. You'll see the openings to them in a little while. I haven't done the opening to one of the Robson and Jerome tapes, but I'll explain why in a little bit. Anyways, this is the, ooh, it's not focusing, it's the camera. Anyway, yeah, there you are. You can just about, ah, there we go. I don't know why my camera's been stupid today. <laughs> got all sorts of cool tapes in here. We've got quite a few carry-on tapes. I think we got, oh yeah, we've got carry-on up the jungle. Drop Dead Fred, another good movie. I'm hoping to get that again one day. Ghostbusters, with Bill Murray in it. Hellraiser, I've, I think it's Hellraiser 3 I've seen, I can't remember. I can't remember which one I've seen, actually. <laughs> Some other good movies in there. There's the tape. Just out of the bottom, no, no, no print date, unfortunately. There we are. Next time for another movie, we have Rat Race with all sorts of cool characters on there. Close up of Rowan Atkinson's face. <laughs> so 
So we have Rowan Atkinson, John Cleese, Whoopi Goldberg, Cuba Gooding Jr., Seth Green, John Lovitz, Brecken Mayer, and Amy Smart. Mm. I remember loving this film when I was younger. Really, really funny. So there's the front and the spine. There's John Cleese there. Released by Pathé, who released, I think, Chicken Run, along with Ardman. What's got going on here? <laughs> there's a horse there. That's where he's driving a coach full of hysterical women. <laughs> John Cleese's face. <laughs> Some other crazy things. Oh, it's Whoopi Goldberg there. Uh, released 2001. Yeah, that's cool. There we go. It's a nice red box, actually. There's the tape itself. Uh, you've just got that at the bottom, no print date as far as I can see. Uh, nope, no print date, unfortunately. Oh well, it's a really good movie though. I'm going to enjoy watching this again, actually. Very funny. 